a dehydrated brain works harder to accomplish the same amount as a normal brain, and it even temporarily shrinks because of its lack of water. Overhydration, or, or hyponatremia, is usually caused by overconsumption of water in a short amount of time. Athletes are often the victims of overhydration. Because of complications in regulating water levels in extreme physical conditions, whereas the dehydrated brain amps up or increases the production of antidiuretic hormone. The overhydrated brain slows, or even stops, releasing it into the blood. Sodium electrolytes in the body become diluted, causing cells to swell. In severe cases, the kidneys. Cannot keep up with the resulting volumes of dilute urine. Water intoxication then occurs, possibly causing headache, vomiting, and in rare instances, seizures or death. But that is a pretty extreme situation. On a normal day-to-day -day basis, maintaining a well-hydrated system is easy to manage. For those of us fortunate enough to have. Access to clean drinking water. For a long time, conventional wisdom said that we should drink eight glasses a day. That estimate has since been fine-tuned or adjusted. Now, the consensus or agreement is that the amount of water we need to consume depends largely on our weight and environment. The recommended daily intake varies from between. 2.5 to 3.7 liters of water for men, and about 2 to 2.7 liters for women. A range that is pushed up or down if we are healthy. Active, old, or overheating. While water is the healthiest hydrator, other beverages or drinks, even those with caffeine like coffee or tea, replenish fluids as well. And 
Water within food makes up about a fifth of our daily H2O intake. Fruits and vegetables like strawberries, cucumbers, and even broccoli are over 90% water and can supplement liquid intake while providing valuable nutrients and fiber. Drinking water might also have various long-term benefits. Studies have shown that optimal hydration can lower the chance of stroke, help manage diabetes, and potentially reduce the risk of certain types of cancer. No matter what, getting the right amount of liquid makes a world of difference in how you will feel, think, and function day to day. So please, drink enough water. Water. Okay, well, good job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening to the video today. I hope you learned something. I hope it was useful. And take care. See you next time. Goodbye.